How is it going everyone? It's Calumity here and I recently have started watching The Simpsons and I am enjoying the old seasons of it quite a bit and I was wanting a video game to play and I ran across Simpsons Road Rage and this is a game I've been looking for for quite some time. It is basically Crazy Taxi but with Simpsons characters. I've been wanting to play this forever. I've actually been wanting to play this before I even watched the TV show. Because everyone has always said that if you like Crazy Taxi, you will love this game. And I 100% agree with that sentiment. Because this game is Crazy Taxi, but in my opinion, better. I think that this game is even better than Crazy Taxi. Because there's a lot more characters to play as. Obviously, it ties into The Simpsons, so that helps you know, commercial-wise and marketing-wise, you have all these Simpsons characters and everything, but you also have six different maps to play on, and they are all very enjoyable and very fun. You also have ten little missions that you can do. There's like ten little mini-missions, and they're pretty simple. It's usually just driving over and destroying things. <laughs> That's usually what it ends up being, but they are fun for what they are. I do like them, and they are challenging. You will have to play them over and over again to get them, uh, and to complete them. I think to play through all the missions, it probably took me a little bit over an hour. So, you know, it's there's only 10 of them. And you have a time limit of like 1 minute and like 40 seconds on each. Or 1 minute and 15 seconds. Something like that. So, you know, for that amount of time, for 10 missions, I, I had to replay them quite a few times. So, but you can get good at them. You can figure out how to, you know, knock down all things you need to. It's almost like you're doing... Uh, a bit of, you know, ser search and destroy, I guess you could say. You know, you're looking for the things to destroy. You're trying to find the best, best path to do so. And it's kind of like a scavenger hunt, but you're trying to destroy things when you find them. And it's pretty cool. I do like the little campaign or little mission mode or whatever it is. But the real star of the show is, of course, the road rage mode, which is literally Crazy Taxi. You pick up a character, you drive them to the location they need to be at, you get paid for doing it, and every now and then you will get little objectives, and if you complete the objectives, you will get bonus for bonuses for, for that in, in the form of more money in the game. So, for example, some of them want you to drive safe, so that requires you to not run into any other cars three times. You can If you hit three cars on the way to the location, you will lose that challenge. There's other ones where they want you to destroy things and they want you to run over, you know, different obstacles on the side of the road. So you got to run over uh, different signs, stop signs, you got to run over trees, run into rocks and dislodge them from their place. Just stuff like that. And if you destroy enough items, then you will get the bonus. So I like those little bonuses. I think they're pretty cool. They add just a little bit of something extra to the game for you to try and do. See, in Crazy Taxi, it was a lot of kind of like dodging things, and the closer you could get to dodging things, and, and the more you dodged, uh, and the closer you got to other vehicles and, and ramps and stuff, that's how you would get more money. In this one, it's literally just, you know, delivering them and getting points for completing these little objectives, these mini objectives. But I really like them. I think they're a lot of fun. The driving in this game is... Just like Crazy Taxi, it feels literally the same. It plays well. I didn't have hardly any problems with it. There was a little bit of slowdown on a couple of the levels, but I noticed that only a couple times out of the many, many, many hours I've been playing this game. Because let me tell you, every single day when I've been getting home from work, I have literally been playing this game. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> My free time, I'm just like, okay, free time, Simpsons Road Rage, that's what I'm doing. It looks great, also for the time, you know, I, and you do have just so many different characters to play as. You know, you have Homer, you have Bart, you have Lisa, you have Marge, you have Krusty the Clown, who's probably my favorite, you have Apu, and you have it's just so many others. You can play as Grandpa. They all have their own unique cars. If you complete all the missions in the main mode, you get a, an extra car for, Simpson, or for Homer Simpson. So, it's really cool. There's a lot here, there's a lot of playability, there's a lot of different things to unlock, and there's a lot to do. There's even a casual relaxing mode, I guess is what you could call it, called Sunday Driving. And it is literally just like a free roam map. You get to basically drive around any of the six maps, kind of just explore them. You can still pick up passengers and drop them off, but you're just not going to make any money for it. You know, because all the money that you unlock goes to unlocking more characters, more starting locations, and things like that. So, 
in Sunday driving mode, you don't really get to unlock anything, but you do get to explore the map a little bit, just drive around and have fun. And it is kind of cool to be able to just drive around on these maps, try to find the secret ramps and stuff, find secret passages, because there are secret passages on some of these uh, maps. And if you can find them, they will help you deliver people, obviously, a lot quicker. So that's pretty important to find. And there's going to be a lot of cases where you're going to want that if you want to get the most cash you can. And it does keep track of your high scores as well for how much cash you gain in each of the in each of the levels. Like, it doesn't have separate levels for it. It keeps track of basically every single level as one. But at least it still does keep track of your high score in some way. And I think that's pretty cool. So, go play Simpsons Road Rage. This game is fantastic. It is an amazing PlayStation 2 game. Honestly, I think that this is one of the best PlayStation 2 games I've played. And that's saying something because I've played a lot of PlayStation 2 games and I love the PlayStation 2. This game is just that much fun. I absolutely love it. I think you'll love it too. Go check out The Simpsons Road Rage and enjoy this amazing game. And if you love The Simpsons, I think you're going to enjoy this because there's a lot of references, a lot of locations that you see in Simpsons, and there's just a lot of fun to be had. And the voice acting in this is also very, very good. And I think that you will enjoy hearing some of these characters communicate because there's some kind of funny dialogue, you know, if you get certain characters in the car at the same time. So check out this game. I'll talk to you in the next video. You have a fantastic day. God bless and bye-bye.